So I had the honor of being interviewed on the Help My Unbelief podcast, and they wanted me to share my story of how I used to be an ex or how I used to be a Satanist, and now I am a Christian, and also my journey of how I've come to believe that everyone is saved, or at least will be saved. And so it was an awesome conversation. This is a comment that is on one of their little video clips of the interview where um, I'm asked by the host, if you believe that everyone is saved, then what about this verse that says that some people are illegitimate and some people are actually children of God? And so this comment was posted below that video saying, if we were always children of God in sin, we wouldn't need adoption into the kingdom, right? And I get what you mean. And so this is what comes to my heart to share is that, you know, Paul and Jesus, they said that they speak to us in human terms. They speak to us in terms that we can understand in our human little minds, right? And how do you do that with people? You relate to them based on their experiences. And that's why Jesus spoke in parables all the time. So in our human experience, if you haven't received Jesus as the Messiah, if you haven't realized that He is the Son of God, you haven't realized what He has done for humanity, your human experience is that it's like you're not a child of God. It's like you're illegitimate because you haven't heard the gospel, you haven't received the gospel, therefore you're not seeing the fruit of the discernment and you still listen to the accuser, the enemy. But that is why it is important to know who Jesus is because he points you to the Father. That's why he's called the Father. And then when you come to the Father, you realize that He is where you were always meant to be, that everything is made complete. Paul said that he was given the ministry of reconciliation. What is reconciliation? It's reconnecting one person to another. It's reconnecting them, which means that they knew each other and they were together at one point. And so you know that you've received the gospel. You know that you've received Jesus when you are experiencing the kingdom of heaven. It, that's Jesus's example, but they are not one in the same. Being a child of God doesn't prove that you'll see the kingdom, but seeing the kingdom proves that you've received being a child of God. This is why Jesus told the parable of the prodigal son, the lost treasure, the lost sheep, uh, because it's so important for us to realize that we were always gods in the first place. The lost coin, so the coin, the sheep, the son, they were already gods. We were already gods to begin with, and we've gone astray. We've forgotten our identity, just like Adam and Eve. They lost sight of their identity and who they were. Jesus is our identity restored to the Father.